Hi boys and girls, good afternoon. So I'm gonna show you how to make your hermit crabs. So hopefully by this time, you have been on the computer and you have watched and uh, read along with the book, uh, A House for Hermit Crab. And this was the first activity that Mrs. McAdams was showing you. You were drawing the pictures of each of the sea creatures that the hermit crab met on his journey. And he carried all one of each of these all the way to the end of the book until he met that smaller hermit crab. So that was our first activity. Now what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna make our hermit crab. So Caleb, say hello to Caleb. He's doing the camera for me today. He's gonna to come over here and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now your parents have the directions. Here they are, it looks like this. And we're gonna improvise a little bit. That means do it a couple different ways, just like we did with rainbow fish, because it will depend on what kind of materials you have at home. All right? So step one, when you're making the hermit crab, the first thing you need is the hermit crab's body. Now, in order to make a body for the hermit crab, you want uh, to either use paint or a magic marker. So Caleb's gonna come over here and we're gonna show you. Mrs. McAdams did not have any red paint. So if you have red paint, what you're going to wanna do is you're gonna wanna paint your whole hand red and you're gonna wanna make a handprint on a piece of paper like that and then you're gonna to wanna to cut out your handprint, okay? So if you have red paint, you can do that. If you don't have red paint, you can do what I did. You can see here, I put my hand down like this. I used my red marker. These are my favorite markers. They're called Mr. Sketch. They smell good. This one smells like cherry. You trace your hand, you color it in. I already did those two steps, and then you cut it out. So I started cutting mine. As a reminder, when we cut out hands, it can be a little bit challenging. So you wanna always remember to turn the paper, right? And not the scissors. So I'm gonna take that out. All right, we're gonna come in this way. And we always have kind of that extra piece that hangs off. Da, 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 da. That's just gonna fall on the floor. There we go. Now I have my red hand, okay? So that's one part of the hermit crab we'll need. I'm gonna put this to the side for right now because we'll come back to that. Now, the next part, and if you look here, the next part that you need on the hermit crab is the shell. Now there's two ways you can make the shell. If you have a paper plate at home, you can use a paper plate and you're gonna cut out the inside of the paper plate. If you need a grown-up's help to get started on this or to cut this for you, not a problem, you can do that. So what you'll see I did is I, cut into the middle like this, and I started to cut around the plate, right? And we don't want this curved part. We just want it to be flat. And that's a little tricky to get a nice circle on this, so you do the best you can, or have your grown-up help you if you want to use a paper plate. Don't have to use a plate if you don't want to. But this is one way that you can make part of the shell. Here we go, not bad, huh? Okay, so that you can get rid of, or you might use that to make something fun, maybe a face or a hat or whatever you like, a beard. Caleb thought that was fun. So, okay, so this is gonna be the shell. Now, if you don't have a paper plate and don't wanna use that, you could find something round like this, or you could draw your own circle on a piece of paper. They're a little tricky to do freehand, but you just get it pretty close. Right, like that, and then, oh, that's a little lopsided, right? Or you find something that's round. <laughs> In this case, it would be this, and you can trace that and make a body. You just wanna make sure the body is gonna be bigger than your hand. Now, you guys have much smaller hands, so your hands aren't gonna be nearly this big. My hermit crab is gonna be much bigger. So I'm gonna turn this over because I'm gonna to need to, when I do this next part, need to use a bigger piece of paper than you do. Your hands are smaller, so you can do a smaller hermit crab. But before I get started, I wanna decorate my shell. So you need to make some swirly whirlies in the middle of this. If you remember when we cut out our boingy boings around Halloween, the ones that went in the circle, you're kinda of gonna do the same thing. So again, grownups can help you or you can do this. You start in the middle of the circle and then you go around and around and around and eventually it just sort of comes off the edge of the paper like that and you can see it makes a nice little swirly shell for the hermit crab now when you color this you can do it really whatever way you want 
I do know in the hermit crab story that the hermit crab had sort of a brown, light brown shell. This is where I like to open my crayons because I have a whole lot more variety of colors in here rather than just using a brown marker. So I can use my crayons. I might use this to make these lines a little darker. And I could have used that first, but I always like to use pencil first just in case I make a mistake and I don't like the way something turned out, then I don't have to start all over. So what do you think? We're looking for sort of sandy brown colors. I kind of like this. This is like a neat little gold color. I might use that. And then maybe a little bit of that brown, maybe a little bit of peach. Okay, oh, and I like this one too. So I may not use all of them. I'm gonna try some different colors and textures, okay? So you can see here, or if you decide that you would like to make your hermit crab shell purple, you can certainly do that and make it purple. You really can do whatever you like on the shell. So I'm just gonna start, as we know, slow and careful when we color, right? And I'm gonna start with a lighter color like this one, because then I can come back with a darker color if I want. And there's some little kind of like speckles around there. I might make these little speckles in here like this around the shell. See those little speckles? And the dark brown shows up really nicely on that. Thanks, Caleb, we're getting nice and close. Or I could use gold for that. I could also draw those first. Let's see what happens if I draw those first and then color on top. Sometimes, yeah, you don't always see them quite as well. So I think I like it the other way. So I might decide that once I get going, hmm, maybe I'll make this part of the shell a little bit darker. And again, I'm gonna take my time, take my time, take my time. I'm gonna keep coloring and I'm gonna go all the way around. Now I'm gonna get back to this part in just a minute. I wanna show you how you put your hermit crab together and then I'll show you my finished pro product, okay? All right, so the next part, you're gonna need your glue. You could use Elmer's or you could use a glue stick. Whoops, mine's back here. <laughs> Here it is, Whoop, little hiccup from Caleb, excuse you Caleb. All right, so this is a paper plate, it's kind of thick, so we'll have to see if the glue stick will work. Now, when you make your hermit crab, all right, now what you wanna do is you wanna take your, take your big hand and you want your hand to face down on your piece of paper. So again, you're gonna use probably a piece this size, right? And your hand is gonna go down like this and you're gonna glue it on. Let's see, maybe. Oh, you know what, mine is gonna fit on there, but I'm gonna make it on a little bit of a bigger piece so I can do scenery later. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue all the way on the black back of my hand. I'm gonna do it on the white paper so I don't get it on the table. I think Mrs. McAdams needs a new glue stick. This one's a little, yeah, Caleb was nodding in agreement. This one is a little bit goopy and yeah, kind of uh, Yucky, yeah, he gave it a thumbs down. I agree with that, Caleb, thumbs down. There it is, see there's Caleb's thumb. Thumbs down for the glue stick. All right, maybe Caleb has one upstairs in his room. All right, so now as we said, we want the hand to go down like this. So I'm gonna put my hand like this. I'm not gonna put it all the way on the bottom because I'm gonna come back in here, I think, and draw a little scenery in this picture. A little bit of sand maybe, some seaweed, since our hermit crab lives in the ocean. Okay. Now, if the little fingers start to stick up, get a little extra glue under there, boop, boop, like that, and let that stick. Okay, now the next part is your shell. And you can have the shell really go any way you like it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cover the thumb. Okay, so the only fingers you're gonna see are these four when you're done. I'm gonna use a little bit of Elmer's glue for this because it's thicker. So, and then I can come back and finish coloring it once it dries. Remember, no big puddles, right? We don't want big puddles of glue. But we definitely want to get around the edges, make a little design there. Look good. If we have too much, when we put this on here, psh, it all comes out from underneath, right? And it makes kind of a mess. All right, so let's see. I kind of like mine this way. And again, I'm going to go over top, over top of the thumb, and I'm going to put this on the hermit crab like that. There we go. Now here's his body. Right, and here's his shell. Okay, now the next thing your hermit crab needs 
are these two little red lines. And as you can see, the hermit crab gets eyes on top of that. Now, if you're lucky enough to have googly eyes at home, this is a perfect time to use googly eyes. Mrs. McAdams does not, they're all at school. So, and you could also use pipe cleaners here if you wanted to. You could cut two little pipe cleaners and make little um, things for the eyes, but I'm gonna use my red marker. So I'm gonna make two like this, nice and thick. Oops, squeaky marker. And make them kind of thick like that one. And two. This is the same marker I used to color this, so it, it matches really well. Good, okay, and then I'm going to use, hmm, I think some black. I'm going to get my black Sharpie and I'm going to make two round eyes. Remember, we make the circles first, then you get to decide what way you want your hermit crab to be looking. If you make both of the dots looking going this way, it'll look to the left, it can look to the right, it might be looking up, it might be looking down, or it might be looking straight ahead. I'm going to have mine looking at Caleb. So there's one eye for my hermit crab, and there's the other eye. Looking over there at Caleb, because he's over there with the camera. Okay, so there's your hermit crab. Now, as I said, I'm gonna go back and finish coloring this, and I'm gonna make a little bit of ocean scenery, and then we'll come right back and we'll finish the video, okay? So give us one minute, I'm gonna finish coloring this, and then we're gonna be back. Okay, so stay tuned. All right, boys and girls, we're back. This time it's Mrs. McAdams behind the camera because you can see Caleb is helping me with the finished product. He is quite an artist and you'll see. So what we decided to do is all of the scenery that we added, we added the creatures from the story. So here are the creatures that we drew from the story. And so we decided to add them here with our picture. So there's the lantern fish. Here's the seaweed and our uh, starfish and our sea anemone. And I still need to draw some coral and a snail. Caleb said, oh, I'll help. And so what we did is we actually are gonna attach an extra sheet of paper to our picture. And here Caleb has drawn the smaller hermit crab and the hermit crab's little shell. So there he goes, he's making the shell. So as you can see, he is quite a good artist. There are lots of art pieces around our house that Caleb has done. He really enjoys drawing. So as you can see, we're still working on, I'm still working on coloring in the blue water. That's gonna take a little time, but I got my shell finished. I decided to use marker and just make dots and then color the rest with some different color crayons. So I had lots and lots of fun. So we're gonna continue with this boys and girls and I hope you enjoy this activity. I can't wait to see the finished product, whether you make one hermit crab or maybe your family each wants to make one. You could have a whole bunch of different sizes of hermit crabs, big ones and small ones, uh, parent hermit crabs and kid hermit crabs. And you can add whatever kind of scenery you like. So enjoy this and I cannot wait to see what you come up with when this project is done. So have fun with this boys and girls, have a great day. Later on, we will have a read aloud of this one right here. Another sea creature and another Eric Carl book, Mr. Seahorse. We'll be reading that later today. And tomorrow will be our story, of course, about Easter, since that is coming up as well. So let's say goodbye and thank you to Caleb. Awesome, awesome. There we go. Gonna keep working on that. So enjoy this, boys and girls, and I will see you later on. Bye. Okay, boys and girls, I thought I'd just give you a quick sneak peek at the finished project. Caleb was certainly a huge help and he helped me, sorry, you're gonna see my shadow a little bit here, with this half of it, and he drew the hermit crab and the coral and the shell here, and then I added a little snail and a sea urchin and another lantern fish. So these are all the creatures that were on our sheet here that we drew from the first time we saw the story. So even if you haven't done this sheet, boys and girls, if you follow along with the story, then you too can add the sea creatures. So there's where we started, right? With just our hands and our shell, turned that into our beautiful hermit crab and then added that scenery. And there you go. So have fun boys and girls and enjoy. I can't wait to see what you create.